Right, so today we're going to carry on looking at KDE on Arch Linux. Um, you might want to watch the first part if you haven't done so already. It's just me setting up Arch and fucking it up and all that kind of stuff. This video won't take up too much of your time. I'm just going to tweak a few things and we'll go from there. We'll use this as a base for our open source software. Right, so the first thing that really pisses me off is that when you go to log out or reboot or something, it gives you this stupid screen. Don't want that crap. Just fuck off. Why is it do such stupid stuff like that. So we just want to go to start up and shut down and then desktop session and turn that one off. And I always like to start with an empty session. Let's see, that should just go straight to the login screen now. Yep, cool. So that's that issue sorted. Let's just make our mouse cursor a bit bigger because it's just stupid. It just looks tiny. And we'll make it white as well because everything's so dark and depressing, isn't it, with operating systems these days? They want you to have these stupid dark themes. It just look awful. I don't know why I don't know if people can use the computers like that. It's like using the high contrast mode in Windows 9X to me. It just looks awful. Just I just don't get it. But what is it for me to say? There we go, it's just, I don't know, blue. <laughs> there you go, blue. That, that's sorted. I always like to shift the buttons around a little bit. Um, goes back to like the Windows 3.1 days. I always close Windows by double clicking up here, so I'll just move the close button up there. And it's problem solved. So let's see what it's come with. It's come with a whole bunch of stuff that we're never going to use, but that's because I picked the um, the whole package. Well, there's some interesting stuff in there, but I'm probably never ever going to use any of it. Oh, games. Oh, right. We've got some games here. Perhaps something to rant about in a future video. You never know, they could be decent, but I doubt it. 3D game based on a Rubik's Cube. Is this going to take down the VM's graphics system? I'm not seeing any 3D Rubik's Cube, are you? Oh, look at that. I really like this game. It's my favourite. Look at that. It runs really well and there's no problems there whatsoever. Cool. Do we have a web browser? No, we've got everything. I'm not using fucking Conqueror. Look at it. It's fucking awful. Why would you browse the web with that? It doesn't even work. Look, it doesn't work. Okay, I'll take that back. It does work. Do we have Chromium on here? Let's see. Oh no, we need to be root first. see what happens looks like we do also the keyboard layout isn't British which is stupid because everything's set as such I mean why is it not fucking respecting the settings is that too much to fucking ask we need to do look fucking US I never in any place referenced fucking US and yet there it is why Not everyone lives in the US. Really annoying that that's the default all the fucking time. There you go, UK. That's more like it. It's not asking me to log out and in again, that's surprising. Look at the way that the mouse cursor is changing depending on which window I'm in. It's fucking stupid. I'll need to log out and log in again for that issue to go away. But you know, you never have to do that in Linux. It's so stable. You never have to reboot or log out and log in again. Of course you don't. Why would you have to do that on such a brilliant and well-made stable system where all of the software is just fantastic, high quality? Oh look, Chromium is all the way down there. So there you go. We've got a browser which we can actually use now. Unlike Congra, which is just crap.
Oh yeah, something happened on YouTube. Like, if you want to go to my channel now, you have to do this. You have to go forward slash user tech snap. If you go to youtube.com slash tech snap, you get this other channel, which is absolutely nothing to do with me. What? What the fuck? Does this look like my video? No, it doesn't. I mean, look, look, it's dollars there, so he's in the wrong locale. He hasn't uncommented the right thing in his Arch installation. I mean, what the fuck? If you type in TechSnap on YouTube, there's this bloody web series here. Look, Jupiter Bro it's called Jupiter Broadcasting. That should be at the top because it's actually called TechSnap. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, look, they've only got 51,000 subscribers and it's nothing like our 624, is it? Can we subscribe when we're not logged in? No, of course not. That's just stupid. Why would they say something like that? And I'll tell you another thing. This smooth scrolling really annoys me. I don't get it. It just makes everything feel so slow. Notice that the mouse cursor keeps changing as well. There we go. I'll log out and log back in again. I've got more to talk about on that tech snap thing. Let's just watch and see if this solves the problem. I'm sure it will. Yeah, look, see, it solved the issue. I'll make that the default browser. You notice that the fonts are a bit screwed up. Is that because we need the Microsoft font? Surely we don't. It's it's Chromium. It's not going to need the Microsoft fonts, is it? I mean, the Google page. That, that just looks crap, but... Never mind. Anyway, going back to TechSnap, this preview of rants. Yeah, most of these were never fucking made. It was, you know, good intentions, but I never got around to making any of them. And the Arch stuff just pissed me off so much. This Windows 3.1 video, actually that's just the welcome to TechSnap, but the actual 3.1 video, I actually got some comments and messages about that, you know, telling me how stupid I am. It's a fucking joke. Fuck's sake. And then we got other videos like the Mandriva ones, which get stupidly high views and I just don't get it. I mean, some of these views came in way after Mandriva even existed. Really weird. I just don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Maybe people are going to the wrong tech snap. I really, I really don't know. But yeah, never mind. So do we still get the different mouse cursor on the setting that? No. So that that issue is resolved. Did VLC get installed? Yes, it did. But it's got the stupid icon. What is it? Why, why do they do that? It's really stupid. No, not internet. I want the I want the proper cone icon. I don't want the stupid KDE's version of the fucking thing. Is it going to be here? Let me see. Yeah, there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. And you know, who wants these fucking labels in 2019? Honestly, Microsoft got it right with the icons only thing and that's what we should be using. Just looks a lot neater in my opinion. There we go. Oh, you can go away. We'll, we'll lock that. Also, I want a K down there. I don't want a stupid thing. I mean, what does that even mean? It's just completely meaningless. I want it to say K for KDE because we're using KDE. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm searching. I didn't want you to disappear. There we go. Look, it says K for KDE. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. But yeah, but we're getting somewhere. We've got a stable system. It doesn't have open office. So we'll install that or LibreOffice or whatever the fuck it's called today. What was wrong with open office? Oh, I know. I recalled it. Now, is there just a meta package for this? Um, fresh or still? Well, obviously, we want fresh. We want it to be nice and fresh and up to date and crap. I'm just assuming it's going to be up to. Is KDE up to date? It should be. Let's have a look. Come on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's not. You obviously don't go in here to find out. Oh yes, you do about KDE. Yeah, about KDE. So where's the fucking version number? Why is it all so stupid now? This shit used to be fucking easy. Now it's all complicated and stupid because it's too easy. We can't have simple things. It's not cool enough. Might as well use Windows if we're going to be cool. Oh, that's probably up to date. But yeah, we got Open Office or Libre Office or what the fuck is it called today, Office? If we want to use it. Not that we're going to use it because I've got Microsoft Office on Windows and it's far superior. So I notice that there's a software center in KDE. I wonder if it works properly with Pac-Man. No, of course not. It's broken. But why is it there if it's broken? That's stupid. I suppose I can use it to get color schemes and things like that. Or oh, it will just do that forever, won't it? Yeah, it's going to do that forever. So yeah, on Ubuntu now, they've got this snap thing, so if I want to install shit like Spotify, I can just do it by typing in snap install Spotify, which obviously is not going to be present on Arch. No, so can we put it on Arch? Let's see. The fonts look really fucked up. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. There's some tweaking to be done there. Uh, it's AUR, so you can you can load it on, but it's not priority right now. So yeah, we got our KDE base to start with here, so we can actually start doing stuff. And I hate this text editor. I think it's rubbish. I just use Nano for everything. It just makes more sense. It just does the job, doesn't it? I mean, look, we can be fucking really cool and trendy here. Let's let's be trendy. Why not? There we go, look, transparency. So what we can do is, we can take a screenshot and stick it on a forum. You know, my fucking operating system is better than yours. And it looks like we're in the 80s again, yay! Just what everyone wants. And it's completely unreadable, look, completely unreadable. Let's see if we can tweak that. I don't know. I do. I do. I hate every operating system. I hate every operating system. They all suck. They're all crap. There's a video on YouTube. Every OS sucks. It's a song. It was made a while back. Try it out. It's still relevant today, in my opinion. Got no sound. Yes, we have. It's just muted by default. It's too helpful to have sound. Go back on here. Let's see if we've got sound. Let's see which one should we watch. I mean, we're not going to watch it. We're not going to watch the whole thing. Like, fucking, what's the point of that? You're going to watch me watching videos. Is there a niche for that? It's probably the next big thing on YouTube. Here's some real innovation. Computer janitor. Over time. It can I'm not hearing it. Maybe it'll come through in the video. This was a really, f this really fucked me off. This computer generator, it's fucking rubbish. It's just a Python front end for literally like app to get auto remove. So anything that wasn't in the repos, it's like no, you're not keeping it because we're going to tell you what to use. Because you know, that's what Microsoft does now, isn't that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, yep, that's KDE on Arch. I mean, you've seen KDE before. There's no point in me banging on and on about it. We've covered it. We've looked at it, and that's all we were going to do. So we've got our base operating system here now to start picking on open source software and making ramp videos. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, and we'll either review it fairly or we'll just make a classic rant about it, you know, because... That's what we do here. You know, like this 3D Rubik's Cube. It's so 3D and so detailed and so superb. And look at that. Look, that's just fucking amazing. Help. I, I, you know, I, I want it to, I want the problem to be sorted. No, I asked to, you know, black screen and it gives me something completely irrelevant here. 
I want to know why our Rubik's Cube is a black screen. It's obviously nothing to do with the v VMware driver, is it? It's clearly something to do with the game. What have we got here? Network construction game. Oh, really? How exciting. You know, move over Grand Theft Auto, you've got network construction game. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, as I say, this was only a brief video, quick look at KDE on Arch, and uh, any suggestions, let me know. I'll see you in the next video. And I actually click shut down now, and it does it. Great.